Greetings, whoever, wherever, indeed, whenever you are. I'm doing this video about the three important reasons we should have landscapes. We'll start with number three. Protecting the built environment. You gotta do something to protect our buildings, homes, warehouses, transportation, communications, all that stuff from getting overgrown. And that's just maintenance. Of course, before a building is built, Usually the land is leveled and all that sort of stuff. But anyone who's enjoyed the joys of home ownership will know that that landscape will start creeping into the house. And I, I have seen plants grow up behind the siding of a house and out the roof. So that's reason number three, which is important protect the built environment. A second reason number or this reason number two I should say why our landscapes important to us is psychological well-being. Think about driving into an office park. The grass is an even texture, even height. There's probably a tree that's blooming or having color for whatever season it is. Shrubs, same thing. Shrubs selected for texture size, planted in lines, or well-defined beds, and compare that idea of the office park to a, main, a landscape that's not maintained very well, or the bare minimum of maintenance. And What are the people like in that landscape? Are the people, are they the same kind of people going in and out of the office park? When you want somebody, when, when we need somebody to be able to perform at a high level and let's say corporate jobs, we want them to be in a good mood. They're gonna be better performing employees are going to be better performing people in general is why people have this same construct around their homes so we know in psychology there's the nature versus nurture and this is the nature side of things so having that in place is half the battle with Reason number one, we're delving deeper into some of these more psychological triggers, and that is discernment. Discernment. Discerning.
We all need a base level of reality for which we can all agree upon and use as a point of reference when we're presented with new information. Without that solid, agreeable reference point, the factuality of new information cannot be discerned. So stay connected with the landscapes, stay connected with nature, living in a big city, have a house plant, have a pet. Make sure you go for some walks, get out in the park, all that kind of stuff. It's really important. Um, discernment. Number one reason it's important to have landscapes. Interact with your landscape. Touch your landscape. Look, notice it's starting to turn colors this fall. So that's an indicator that the seasons are changing and it's an indicator that our planet goes around the sun at a tilt, giving us seasons. And the plants change according to that. They've been doing it for a long, long time. So those are our top reasons for, top three reasons for why landscapes are important. Protect the built environment. Psychological well-being and discernment.